Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 12th day of February, 12-02-2022. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is the word, a non-negotiable necessity of life. We understand from scriptures that as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, thought for the day. The Word of God is a non-negotiable necessity in the life of a child of God. It has been established that the destiny of a child of God depends on the Word of God. That is why when a child of God is starved of the Word, both his life and destiny are at risk. Let's give you an example. In medi medicine, there is a condition called protein energy malnutrition PEM. This condition is seen when a newborn baby or a young child um, is not well fed with adequate nutrition, especially protein, uh, leading to the child getting malnourished and becoming sick. The child becomes highly susceptible to infirmities, to infections, to afflictions. He's totally unable to fight infections and the affected child would have terrible symptoms on his body including his hair that would become fluffy like chicken feathers he would have a bloated tummy because of the degeneration of the liver the child's skin be begins to peel a condition referred to as flaky paint dermatosis this is because it is not the child is not well fed with protein in the same way, what happens to a child of God who is starved of the Word of God can be likened to the condition of a child that lacks protein as described above. As we just described, the destiny of such a child hangs on his feeding. The, child's, the spiritual child's destiny hangs on his feeding on the Word of God. To put it another way, nutrition determines physical destiny of a child and the revelation of the Word determines the spiritual destiny of a Christian. Job esteemed the word of God more than his necessary food. You see that in Job chapter 23 and verse 12. This means that the word of God is more important to a child of God than his necessary physical food. This, is, this also implies that the word of God will do far more for a child of God than what physical food will do for him. Our counsel to you today is make up your mind to treasure the Word of God like Job did. Remember this, the Word of God is a non-negotiable necessity in the life of a child of God. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, prioritize the ministry of the Word in your life. Number two, make up your mind to study the Word and apply it to your life situations. Always praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord. I receive fresh grace to develop an appetite or the appetite for your word. I receive the discipline to engage your word. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God. Wow, by way of reflection, God's servant says that as physical food or nutrition is to a child, the food of the mind is information and the food of the spirit is revelation. The revelation of the word of God to be fed all round is to be healthy, strong, and successful all round. Praise the Lord. I'd like to pray for you today. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. You want to be born again. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your word to me today. I ask that you forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And the Lord keep and protect you. In Jesus' name. I declare today that the Lord opens you up today for fresh light that will impart you with fresh strength. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. 
today is your birthday. I pray for you and I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. Happy birthday to you. Have a glorious day, a glorious season, and a glorious year ahead in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Thank you.